Well, they divide it into squares. <laughs> yeah, indeed they and are. Here, here's a little. Here, look at all the little squares. Yeah, that's the Earth. So. And that that looks like the blue marble being built, but but they tell you, you know, this is this is official. These are the people who process these images from these supercomputers. This is how they're able to upload terabytes of data every day. So, Archer, just out of curiosity, I mean, obviously, you know, you, you've uncovered the Himawari and the GOES satellite um, that are clearly, you know, even in their little readme files, they're clearly constructing these things um, from pieces of pictures. They're, they're fabricating them. They're photoshopping them. And yet so many people out there are claiming that, oh, we'll see the Himawari is doing this constantly. These pictures are being updated. It's real data, real pictures. Where are they getting this idea if, if Himawari and GOES themselves are admitting in their own, you know, internal documentation, that they're basically pieces of composites. How, how are people getting that misunderstanding? I have no idea because they admit um, that they have the ability to do these things. See, this is actually from um, the same people, and this is actually they admit this is a model right here. These are models, but doesn't it look exactly like the stuff they're claiming are not models? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks virtually identical. I mean, there's some slight differences, um, but it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so, and you also find believe that that Discover satellite is placed at a position in orbit that is called a Lagrange point, where it's exactly the distance away from the Earth and the Sun that it just sits there, <laughs> which is just classic. Yeah, it's yeah, not kind it, of orbit like everything else has to be. It it is allowed to just sit there because it's its gravity is being pulled equally at all times by both the Earth and the Sun. Yeah, and you see, they tell you they're, they're simulating the globe in one-mile segments. And what's funny is that they're talking about at their one-mile um, one mile resolution, we can see weather and other atmospheric phenomena on a neighborhood scale. That is also the resolution of most modern satellites. So what they're saying is they get the same resolution as a supposed satellite would from a simulation. And uh, it doesn't make sense. They say by, by creating a virtual Earth observing system, our simulation connects neighborhoods around the world, blah, blah, blah. So they actually consider looking at this an observation. This is, a, or this is Earth observing. You know how the satellites are called Earth observing satellites? Uh -huh. This is an Earth observing simulation, and this is 100% valid uh, in the scientific community as evidence. What's, ever, what's done in a simulation is actually considered evidence see this is from the center for climate simulation look what they said here computer simulations predict the existence of a so-called naked singularity which interferes with einstein's general theory of uh, relativity which i don't even agree with relativity but they're saying because a simulation did something now it's reality mm -hmm. and so we know that that if, if they run a computer simulation and it gets one result or this result, then they actually accept that as evidence, which I've shown in one of my other videos, where the people that supposedly detect exoplanets, they do it because they, they put a simulation in, in a computer, and whenever it, it match, matches like a certain shape, then they found like an exoplanet because of 